Hello everyone. Now in this particular video, we are going to discuss question number 63 of GATE DA24 exam. And this question is based on KNN algorithm, K nearest neighbor. So if you have watched my video on this KNN algorithm, what I said, Sangat ka asar padta hai. Jaisi Sangat, waise tu. Thik hai? So simple. For example, if you have five friends, and out of five friends, three are smoker and two are non-smoker, then the chances of you are going to become a smoker is more because you are three friends out of five is what a smoker, right? So your chances of being a smoker is more. So this is what Sangat ka asar padta hai. And same thing is what K nearest algorithm. And here we define the value of K, okay? So here I said k equals to 5. So out of your 5 friends, 3 of your friends is a smoker. So I can say that I will classify you as a smoker. Okay. So now let's try to apply this concept to this particular question. That's it. Given two dimensional data set consists of 5 data points from two classes, circles and square. We have two classes, circle and square. And assume that the Euclidean distance is used to measure the distance between two point now what is this euclidean distance so please remember the formula for euclidean distance manhattan distance okay these two are very important if i say euclidean distance between the point x1 y1 and x2 y2 is what distance is what under root of x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square so this is a distance between two points P1 and P2 having coordinate x1, y1 and x2, y2. Okay. Now, now we need to find out the minimum odd value of k, minimum odd value of k in k nearest neighbor algorithm for which the diamond shaped data point is assigned to a label square here. So, if you observe this data set, I have five data points out of which three are classified as square. And these two are classified as what? Circle, right? And here you can see a diamond shape that is my new data point. And I want to find out the value of k such that this particular data point belongs to a label square. Okay. So I need to find out the minimum odd value of k for that this particular diamond shape has assigned the label square. Okay. How to do that? So first we need to find out the distance between this point and all the five points. Okay. So distance between the diamond shape and the, these two circles and these three pairs. We need to find out the distance first and then based on the value of k we are going to decide whether this particular diamond shape belongs to square label or not. So let's try to find out the distance first by using a Euclidean distance. So this is circle 1, this is circle 2 and this is diamond 1D. So distance between D and C1 is what? So 2 and 1, so 2 minus 1, 1, 1 square plus 1 minus 1, 1 square plus 1 minus 1, 0. That is basically what? 1 distance between D and C2, circle 2 is what? 2 minus 1, 1, so 1 square, 1 minus 2, that is minus 1 whole square plus minus 1 whole square. That is basically under root of 2. Now the distance between D and this as square 1, square 2 and square 3 here. So D as 1 is what? 2 minus 2 that is 0 square plus 1 minus 3 that is minus 2 square. That is nothing but 2. Distance between D and S2 here is what? 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 square plus 1 minus 3 that is minus 2 square here that is 4 plus 1 that is under root of 5 here. Now what about D S3? Similarly distance between D and S3 2 minus 3 minus 1 square plus 1 minus 2 minus 1 square 1 square plus 1 square under root of 2. So here I got the distance between this diamond shape to all the data points. Now we need to find out the value of k such that this particular point belongs to a square class. 
and that is the odd value of k. If I say k equals to 1, when I say k equals to 1, it means that I will allocate the class to this particular data point to which the nearest label is there. Nearest label is what? Distance is minimum. So, if you observe DC1 that is out of this 1 is the minimum distance. This is 1.41. This is also 1.41, right? So, out of this 1 is the minimum 1. So, I can say when k equals to 1, I will assign this D shape to circle, okay? But we want to label it to square, right? So, k is not equals to 1. What about k equals to 2? Now, k equals to 2 means what? 2 nearest neighbor. So, who is the 2 nearest neighbor for this particular data point D? Such that the distance is minimum. So, first one is this particular thing and second one is what? Either this one or this one. Because if you observe both the having the same distance. So, either DC2 or DS3. Let's take for example, if I take these two points C1 and C2. So, 1 and 1.41. So, out of two data points, both the data points belong to my circle. So, I can say that when k equals to 2, d is again labeled as circle. Even though I consider one data point as dc1 and second data point as ds3, here what will happen? Here, we have two data points, that is two nearest data point to this d shape, but one belong to circle and one belong to square. So, I cannot classify, right? So, for the k equals to 2, I cannot say that label is a square. Now, what about k equals to 3? Now, I need to consider 3 nearest neighbor. So, 3 data point having a minimum distance. So, first one is dc1, second one is dc2, third one is dc3. So, I have 3 data point such that the distance is minimum because 1, because 1, 1.14 and 1.14 here, right? So, if you observe for k equals to 3, I have 2 circle and one square. So, I will assign this particular data point D shape to what? Circle again. So, when I say k equals to 3, the D is assigned to a circle. Okay. Again, this is not a correct one. Let's go for k equals to 4. Now, when I say k equals to 4, I need to find out the 4 nearest neighbor. So, we have this 3, 1, 2, 3 and after this, this 2 is minimum because under root of 5 will be greater than a 2 only, right? So, this 2 is minimum. So, if you consider this data point L also, so what is going to happen? Two data point belong to circle. For this, two data point belong to circle and two data point belong to square. Again, I cannot classify it here. There is a tie 50-50. Now, what about k equals to 5? When I say k equals to 5, now I need to consider 5 nearest neighbor. So, if I consider 5 nearest neighbor, 1, 2, 3, 4 and now this one will be 5, 1. Now, if you observe out of this 5, I have 3 square and then 2 circle. So, majority of what square class? Now, I can assign that particular diamond shape to square class when the value of k equals to 5. So, here answer is 5 here. Simple question. We just need to understand the concept and do the calculation. That's it. Okay, so that's what I said. Sangat ka asar padta hai. So remember this simple example, right? So when I say k equals to one, so consider you are one of the friend. When I say k equals to two, so consider you are two nearest friend. When I say k equals to three, consider you are three nearest friend like this. Okay, so based on that, based on their classes, you will be categorized to that respect to class. Okay, I hope you understand what we have discussed in this particular video. Simple question, nothing in it. You just need to understand what is this K and N is. What is K nearest neighbor and how it works and then just it is just the calculation, nothing in it, right? We just need to find out the Euclidean distance and just consider different K value, okay? So, next year also you can expect a question on K and N, but the concept remains same. They can change Euclidean to Manhattan distance or they can give a different data points, maybe in the tabular format or any other format, they can simply ask the question in a different way. But the concept will remain same. Okay. So that's it from this particular video. I hope you found this video helpful. So please hit the like button and do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.